Imagine a place where the sun is just a bright star among billions of others, where the darkness of space absorbs all light and the temperature drops to almost absolute zero. This is Pluto, a tiny icy world at the very edge of our solar system, where time flows more slowly and space seems endless. But in all the decades of the space age, no human has ever set foot there. Why? We've already explored Mars, flown past Jupiter and Saturn, and looked at the ring giants, but Pluto remains out of reach. And it's not just because of its remoteness. There are barriers that even the most daring engineers call almost insurmountable. What you will learn next will make you look at space travel in a new way. Because Pluto is more than just a planet, it is a challenge that humanity is not yet ready to meet. Pluto may be small, but its significance in our understanding of the solar system is enormous. For decades, it stood proudly as the ninth planet, a distant and mysterious member of our cosmic family. But in 2006, the International Astronomical Union reclassified it as a dwarf planet, sparking controversy and debate that continues to this day. Yet even stripped of its planetary title, Pluto remains one of the most fascinating worlds we've ever encountered. Its surface is a frozen mosaic of water ice, nitrogen ice, and methane frost, sculpted into mountains, plains, and deep valleys. Beneath this icy crust, scientists suspect there may be a hidden ocean, kept from freezing solid by internal heat, possibly from radioactive decay in its rocky core. If such an ocean exists, it could be a potential habitat for microbial life, protected from the harsh vacuum of space. Pluto's thin atmosphere, composed mainly of nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon monoxide, behaves in strange and beautiful ways. It can expand and contract dramatically as the dwarf planet moves closer to or farther from the Sun in its elongated orbit. When closest to the Sun, the surface ice sublimates into gas, enveloping Pluto in a shimmering haze. As it drifts away, the atmosphere collapses and falls as frost back onto the ground. But beyond its own mysteries, Pluto holds clues about the origins of the solar system. It resides in the Kuiper Belt, a vast region filled with icy bodies left over from planetary formation. By studying Pluto, scientists are essentially looking back in time examining pristine material that has remained largely unchanged for over four billion years. Pluto may be far and cold, but in many ways, it is a cosmic time capsule. Unlocking its secrets could answer fundamental questions about how worlds form, evolve, and, perhaps, harbor life. Pluto orbits the Sun at an average distance of about 5.9 billion kilometers, a journey so vast that it's difficult to truly comprehend. To put that into perspective, Mars, often considered a distant target, is a mere 225 million kilometers away at its farthest. That makes Pluto more than 26 times farther than Mars, placing it at the very edge of the Sun's gravitational influence. Even the fastest spacecraft ever built, NASA's New Horizons, which launched in 2006 at an incredible speed of nearly 58,000 kilometers per hour, took nine and a half years to reach Pluto, and it didn't even stop simply flying by to capture images and data. For a human mission, the challenge becomes exponentially greater. A crewed spacecraft cannot simply be a stripped-down probe. It would need life support systems, radiation shielding, food, water and propulsion systems powerful enough to carry all of it across billions of kilometers. Using conventional chemical rockets, a human journey to Pluto could take decades, perhaps even longer depending on planetary alignments. And unlike Mars or the Moon, there are no opportunities to resupply along the way. Every gram of material must be carried from the very start, increasing the spacecraft's mass and the fuel requirements beyond practical limits. The extreme distance also means that communication delays are significant. At its closest, a radio signal from Pluto takes more than four hours to reach Earth, making real-time control or quick decision-making impossible. In such a remote environment, any problem that arises would have to be solved entirely by the crew, with no immediate assistance from mission control. This sheer vastness of space is not just a matter of patience. It is a fundamental barrier of physics, engineering, and logistics that makes sending humans to Pluto an almost unimaginable challenge with our current technology. 
Reaching Pluto is only the first challenge. Surviving there is an entirely different battle. On its surface, temperatures can drop to an unimaginable minus 229 degrees Celsius, cold enough to freeze most gases solid. In such conditions, any exposed human skin would freeze instantly, and even the most advanced spacesuits would need unprecedented insulation and energy to keep a crew alive. The atmosphere, composed mainly of nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon monoxide, is so thin that it offers no breathable air and virtually no protection from harmful solar and cosmic radiation. Unlike Earth, Pluto has no magnetic field strong enough to shield life from high-energy particles streaming through space. This means astronauts would be exposed to a constant bombardment of radiation, which over time could cause severe health problems or even be fatal without extremely heavy shielding. Shielding that would make any spacecraft far heavier and harder to launch. Gravity on Pluto is only about 6% that of Earth, which may sound like an advantage, but long-term exposure to such low gravity can cause muscle atrophy, bone loss, and cardiovascular issues. Furthermore, Pluto's day is about 6.4 Earth days long, meaning that extended periods of daylight and darkness would disrupt human circadian rhythms, potentially leading to psychological and physiological stress. Then there's the surface itself, a frozen, rugged terrain of ice mountains and nitrogen plains, with temperatures so low that mechanical systems risk seizing up and batteries could lose their charge rapidly. Landers and habitats would need to be specially designed to operate in such extremes, requiring advanced thermal management systems just to function. In short, Pluto is not just far away. It is actively hostile to human life and surviving even a short stay would require technology and preparation far beyond what we currently possess. The financial and resource demands of a crewed mission to Pluto are staggering, far surpassing anything humanity has attempted in space exploration. Even robotic missions to the outer solar system require enormous budgets. NASA's New Horizons, which only performed a flyby of Pluto, cost around $720 million over more than a decade of development, launch, and operations. A human mission would require not only transportation, but also advanced life support systems, radiation shielding, long-duration power supplies, food, water, and oxygen for a journey that could take decades. Each of these adds mass, and in spaceflight, mass translates directly into exponentially higher launch costs. Current estimates for a deep space crewed mission of this scale could easily reach into the hundreds of billions of dollars if not more, rivaling the combined budgets of multiple space agencies over decades. Building such a mission would require a global effort, international cooperation, shared resources, and long-term political commitment, which is difficult to guarantee over the many years needed to develop, launch, and complete the mission. Beyond the cost of building the spacecraft, there are expenses for developing entirely new propulsion systems capable of cutting travel times from decades to years, creating reliable power systems that can function far from the sun, and designing habitats that can keep humans alive and healthy for unprecedented durations. There's also the logistical challenge of producing and storing the massive amounts of fuel required, potentially necessitating on-orbit assembly or refueling stations. And unlike missions closer to Earth, there would be no way to perform quick resupply or rescue. Every gram of material must be launched from Earth at the start, and every contingency must be accounted for in advance. The sheer scale of investment in time, money, and resources makes a human journey to Pluto one of the most expensive and ambitious projects imaginable in the history of exploration. Even if funding and resources were secured, the journey to Pluto faces a daunting technological wall. Our current chemical rockets the same basic propulsion technology used since the dawn of the space age, are far too slow and inefficient for safe human travel to such extreme distances. New Horizons reached Pluto quickly by space probe standards, but it carried no crew, no life support, and no ability to stop, slingshotting past the dwarf planet at over 50,000 kilometers per hour. To send humans, we would need propulsion systems capable of sustained high-speed travel while carrying massive payloads. Concepts like nuclear thermal propulsion, nuclear electric propulsion, 
or advanced ion drives have been proposed, but none are yet ready for long-duration crewed missions. Some experimental designs could cut travel time significantly, but they require breakthroughs in engineering, safety, and reliability before being considered for human passengers. Beyond propulsion, we lack life support systems proven to function autonomously for decades without resupply or major maintenance. Radiation shielding must be strong enough to protect against cosmic rays and solar storms for the entire journey yet light enough not to make the spacecraft prohibitively heavy. Long duration power sources are another challenge. Solar panels become ineffective so far from the sun, meaning we would need advanced nuclear reactors or other exotic energy systems. Communication over billions of kilometers also demands ultra-reliable, high-gain systems capable of operating with multi-hour delays. And then there's landing technology. Pluto's low gravity and icy terrain would require specialized descent systems unlike anything currently in service. Each of these challenges is monumental on its own, but combined, they represent a technological gap that may take decades, even centuries, to close. Without solving them, the dream of sending humans to Pluto will remain firmly in the realm of science fiction. For now, the only realistic way to explore Pluto is through robotic missions. These unmanned spacecraft can endure the extreme conditions, operate for years without resupply, and gather invaluable data without risking human lives. Future probes could carry more advanced instruments, land on the surface, or even deploy subsurface drills to search for hidden oceans. Each mission will bring us closer to understanding Pluto's composition, geology, atmosphere, and potential for life. The technology developed for such robotic exploration will also lay the groundwork for future human missions. Advances in propulsion, power generation, and life support may one day make crude travel feasible. International collaboration, long-term investment, and continuous innovation will be essential. While a manned journey to Pluto may still be decades or even centuries away, every robotic mission is a step toward turning that distant, icy world from an unreachable dream into a destination we can one day set foot upon, Pluto stands as both a scientific treasure and a symbol of humanity's current limits. Its frozen landscapes, distant orbit, and hostile environment remind us just how challenging deep space truly is. For now, it remains beyond our physical reach, a world we can only visit through the eyes of our robotic explorers. Yet, that very distance fuels our ambition. Every mission that captures new images measures its atmosphere, or maps its surface brings us closer to solving the mysteries of this enigmatic world. One day, the barriers of distance, cost, and technology may be overcome, just as humanity once conquered the oceans and the skies. When that day comes, setting foot on Pluto will not just be a scientific milestone, it will be a testament to our determination to explore, to push boundaries, and to prove that even the most impossible destinations can become part of our human story.